so uh, ask me more about anything later. But uh, let's let's uh, solder a part. So on the board, um, there's um, markings for where to put things. So um, let's see. That one says 10K, and this is 10K, so I'm going to put this in here. So I'm going to start with a resistor. So um, for resistors, you got to bend the wires down before you put it into the board. Oh, and by the way, all of the wires coming out of parts, no matter what they look like, here's on the timer chip, all the wires are called leads because they lead to the part. Uh, and it's spelled like uh, L-E-A-D. So, for resistors, you bend the leads down the width of the part, like this. And you do that before you put it in the board. And you put it in the pads for here, and one mark 10K. We're going to put all the parts in on this side, but we solder it on the other side. So, you've got to push it down. And for most parts, you push them until it touches the board. Because if, if you solder it, like this, then it can twist and short out, um, and it'll make a connection where we don't want it. So, but if you put it against the board, then it's all totally safe. So hold it in place with your finger as you turn it upside down and bend the leads out, um, like 45 degrees or so, so it won't fall out while we solder it. Okay. So this is uh, soldering iron. And um, this melts solder. Okay, so um, there's three safety concerns with soldering, um, plus uh, some minor ones as well. But um, one safety tip, safety tip number one, is totally obvious. Um, this gets hot enough to melt metal. Uh, this metal is an alloy that melts at about 300 degrees Celsius. And so this is a little bit hotter than that. So, if you touch this tip, you will let go very quickly. Okay? But if you solder enough, uh, you will burn yourself. You know, it's just, there's no way around it. I've burned myself way more times than I could possibly count. But, the idea of pain is to avoid more pain. So, uh... <laughs> you do let go quickly and therefore you can't really hurt yourself badly. Because uh, unless you have leprosy or something really horrible, if you grab it like this by accident, <laughs> you definitely won't keep holding it to get yourself burned very badly. Um, I've been doing it since I was six and uh, I still have all my fingers and this is partly what calluses are for. Um, so, uh, another safety tip. Uh, in this country, uh, it's illegal to have the old kind of solder which has lead in it. Uh, lead is poisonous, which is why they made it illegal here. However, um, the chemical that's inside of this solder that makes it work without lead is incredibly toxic. So um, you don't want to breathe in this smoke that comes out because that's the vaporized chemical that's inside of here to allow this non-leaded solder to work. Um, so when I solder, I lightly blow on what I'm soldering and that dissipates it so you don't breathe it in directly. Okay? So um, those are the two safety concerns. You should probably also wash your hands afterwards because some of the chemical inside will get on your hands. With leaded solder you definitely wash your hands first because otherwise um, you know the lead uh, will get in your food which uh, gets in your body and your bloodstream brings it into your brain, and that's where it collects all your life. And um, yeah, and so if you have enough in your brain, you go insane and lose all your friends. It's really supposed to be no fun. So, uh, um, so if you're ever around leaded solder, wash your hands for sure. Um, but you know, wash your hands anyways, and then then you're fine after soldering. And wash your hands before you pick your nose. Okay? <laughs> um, so yeah, and there's one other safety concern which. Um, deals with cutting the uh, wires when we're done, but I'll do that in about a minute. So, this gets hot, en hot enough to melt this metal, this solder, 
um, which is an alloy of metal that um, is really good properties for uh, melting at <coughs> relatively low temperature and it flows nicely around the pad and will lead to make a good electrical connection. Um, this is about 325 degrees Celsius, um, which means that it not only melts metal, but it also oxidizes the metal of the tip. So if you look on this, it's kind of lumpy, and you can get rid of excess solder just by banging it there. But now it's got all this sort of black and brown. That's what this sponge is for, a wet sponge. So if you scrape it lightly, and then rotate and scrape again, now look at that, it's nice and shiny. And if it's nice and shiny, that means the heat will flow better because the uh, oxides are insulator for heat. So you want to uh, clean the tip before every solder connection because this oxidizes very quickly. In just those few seconds I was talking, it's no longer it's nice and shiny. But you know, scrape, rotate, scrape, and now it's shiny again. Okay, so do that before every solder connection. So you take the clean tip. I'm going to explain it first and then do it. Take the clean tip and touch it to the pad and the lead that you want to solder. Okay, and do it kind of horizontal, not like that, because you get more surface area this way. And push down sort of hard till the board um, uh, pushes itself on the table at whatever angle it'll push at. Okay, then you put um, solder, about one or two millimeters of solder. Um, you push, and it's not real critical how much. Uh, you, you push it, you, okay, so you put the solder iron in there, and you hold it there for one second while this heats up nicely. Then you push about one or two millimeters of solder under the tip. Not up here. If you put it up here, it'll just get on the tip. It doesn't do any good on the tip. We want it under here where it'll flow around the pad and the lead. Um, so then you do that, and the solder won't melt until it actually touches the tip. Just touching the lead or the pad, it won't melt. You have to touch the tip, then the solder will melt, then you can push a millimeter or two in, then you pull the solder away, but leave the solder iron there for one more second, because it takes time for the solder to flow. And you want it to flow, and it won't flow unless it's hot. Okay, then you let go, and hopefully the solder will have flowed totally all the way around the pad and the lead, and you have a good solder connection. Okay, so just once again quickly, you clean the tip, scrape, rotate, and scrape. Heat for one second, push solder in, pull the solder away, hold one more second, and let go. Make sense? Okay, so now I'm going to do it. Clean the tip, hold it there for one second, put a little bit of solder in there, hold one more second, let go. Does that look easy? Do you know why it looked easy? <laughs> because it is. <laughs> um, now, I've been doing it since I was six, so uh, I can make a lot of things that aren't necessarily easy look easy, but this actually is easy. So you will see. Um, but you can tell a good solder connection because the solder flowed all the way around the pad and the lead. You cannot see any of the pad or the lead. Uh, I'm sorry, you can't see any of the pad and you can't see any of the hole. If you can see any of the pad or you can see an indention where the, uh, where the hole is, um, um, or if it's flat against the board, it's a little bump you can see. If it's flat against the board or you can see any of the pad or you can see the indention where the hole was, you didn't put enough solder in. If it's not enough solder, that's no problem. You just do the whole thing again. Clean the tip. Hold it there a second, push a little more solder in, pull away, hold one more second, let go, and then it'll be fine. If it's too much solder, that means that you've got so much solder that it's going from one pad and shorting to another one. If that happens, there's really easy ways to correct that. What I usually do is uh, just heat up the uh, solder until it's a liquid, and then I bang the liquid off on the table. Okay, and then just scrape away any with uh, my fingernails. So uh, I always grow my fingernails a little bit long because they're great tools. So if anyone bites their nails or whatever, there's other things you can use besides nails. It's no problem. But, uh, <coughs> so, uh, who, whose is this? We borrowed. Good. So, what's your name? Sarah. Sarah. So everyone is going to stare at Sarah while she makes a <laughs> connection.